When I first had chimichurri, my socks were, I mean, that's cliche. I was blown away. I couldn't believe how like fresh and flavorful and garlicky, vinegary, but cilantro-y and onion-y and just like. It's so flavorful. Yeah, it's the best. Summery. It's also spicy and salty. And it's like, what's that show? There it is. Salt, fat, acid, heat plus fresh herbs, <laughs> it's perfect. And then add that to whatever you're putting on the grill. I mean, I can't think of a better thing to bring to a grill out or a barbecue. Anything that goes on a grill is made better by chimichurri. And the cool thing about it is you can't mess it up. It's not a precise chemistry experiment like baking. Whoa, did you even measure? No. This is one of those recipes that's like, you don't have to measure precisely. It's just like handfuls of greens. You take a handful of parsley and a handful of cilantro, a cup of flat leaf parsley, three quarters cup of fresh chopped cilantro, about a quarter cup of oregano leaves. We're really just plucking off the stems. Eye it. Two tablespoons of lemon juice. Normally, if you're using a food processor or a blender, or well, in our case with the Vitamix, we just put in the whole lemon because it's a whole food, but we're not blending. We're just kind of chopping, food processing, and we don't want lemon chunks. So we're actually gonna use the lemon juice. We'll add a quarter cup of red wine vinegar, some red onion, we're using about a third of it. Six garlic cloves. Fresh garlic is better. If you have the pre-minced garlic that comes in the jar, that's okay. But fresh garlic is gonna be better. Half of a whole jalapeno. Take out the seeds and that sort of white pithy part if you don't want it too spicy, but still wanna have that jalapeno flavor, which is the signature of chimichurri. Salt and pepper to taste. All that in the container, top on, and we're gonna blend on variable speed the one, the lowest speed it can go for about 30 seconds. Get it kind of chopped down. And then kick it up to variable speed five for another 10, 15 seconds to sort of make those pieces a little bit smaller. And then bring it back down to variable speed one. We're gonna let it run and take the lid plug out. Now we're gonna kind of add our oil, three quarters of a cup of olive oil slowly through the top and let it kind of emulsify and mix together. And we'll let it run for 10 seconds. And then one last time, kick it back up to variable speed five for about 15 seconds. Make sure everything gets nice and fully combined. From here, I think you know what to do. Fire up your grill, put whatever you want on it. We put these um, skewers and just drench it in chimichurri. You can marinate your grillables in chimichurri too. If you wanna to go the extra mile, we did that, it was awesome. It's great on salmon if you eat salmon. Pictures will show it on red meat too. If you're having people over and you're grilling and you want people to leave saying, wow, that was delicious, chimichurri will do it for you. Guys, this was fun. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Hit that bell to get notified. And if you appreciate videos like this, hit that thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Have you had this before, Chimichurri? Oh, no. okay, what? Delicious. Soft, dog. Oh, is it out already?